So with this app, we're able to take any video of a person and then swap out their face for any image that we have of another person, which is completely crazy and a little bit scary that we can do this just on our M1 Max with completely open source software. So today we're going to be looking at Face Fusion, which is a next generation face swapper and enhancer. So very similar to deep faking. So hopefully if this has gone well, you'll see myself as a celebrity within this. And with all that said, let's get started on installing this and setting it up locally. So a lot of this deep fake technology, you can't actually do it on um, Apple Silicon because it's generally be using uh, NVIDIA CUDA cores, but Face Fusion does actually allow you to use Core ML, which is obviously based on Apple Silicon, and um, it's going to mean that I'm going to be able to run things here because I don't have a GPU that is able to do this. So I've headed to the Face Fusion repo, and I'm going to clone it locally. So literally, just can go to this code button here, copy the URL. And I'm going to git clone face fusion. And that clones it into a local directory. So if I cd into that. Um, and if we actually look in here, we can see that there are some requirements. So I'm going to create a virtual environment. So I will do python dash minus m vn vm. And that creates a virtual environment using the VM module. So the virtual environment is called VM. So it should just appear in a folder within that directory. Um, then we will source that. So we do source dot slash VM slash bin slash activate. And that activates that virtual environment. Then there's a couple of additional steps if we want GPU acceleration. So if we take a look at this, um, so we can unleash the full potential of the CPU and GPU. So let's use the core ML version for Apple Silicon locally. So to do that, I need to run these couple of commands. So let's run those two there. So it skips the first step, which is actually a removal step. You can see pip uninstall. Don't need to worry that it's saying it's skipping that and then installs the other um, dependencies there. Um, then we are just going to pip install the requirements. Okay, cool. That looks like it's all come down okay. Interestingly, there is actually a note on this um, saying that the installation needs technical skills and is not for beginners. So uh, you've been warned there. What we get when we run the run command. So this is a, should be a Gradio interface. Okay, so we still actually got another download of 530 megs, okay. Okay, so we've got a URL that we can open there. Let's open that. We've got an interface up. We need to upload some images. So I've created this test footage, which is actually the beginning of this video, hopefully, or part of the beginning of this video that you will have seen already. Um, if this works, that is, um, and I'm hopefully going to swap myself out um, for a celebrity, which we will try now. So the first person I'm going to try is Henry Cavill. So it's literally just an upload of an image that we need here. So I have this picture of his face. Let's try that and see what we get. So we will have our source as Henry. So our source is the Henry Cavill image. Um, our destination is the footage that I've taken of myself that you've hopefully seen already. Um, those two things can actually be the other way around, which is a little bit confusing. Okay. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> How weird is that? Okay. Let's start it and see how long it takes to render that. So the main reason for using Henry there is because I just happened to be wearing a Superman t-shirt today. So that's the reason I've got it for him in the first instance. But I do have a couple of other images that we can try in a second as well. Okay, so we have a video, 12 seconds. That is really weird. 
hopefully if this has gone well, you'll see myself as a celebrity with this. Um, and with all that said, let's get started on installing this and setting it up locally. Okay, let's download that because that looks pretty awful quality. And I think there's a limitation on the size of some of these um, files, but simply because uh, the models have not been released. So yeah, definitely not high resolution footage. Um, pretty bad quality. So I have tried to run this with the face enhancer as well, which is also something you can select on the web interface. But every time I do, you can see it's just breaking here and in the UI, it just comes up with an error at that point. So there's this little tab here, face enhancer. And every time I try and use it, I just get this error. Okay, so what I might do is try a different source. Let's try now Elon. Elon, hello Elon. And actually we've got video quality, I could have cranked it right up there. Oh my word. Oh my word, that is shocking. Wow, that's scary. Okay, I might crank up the quality. Yeah, I'm gonna crank up to 95. So it took about two minutes before to render stuff. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. Let's generate that and see how long it takes. So last time it took 140 seconds almost. Let's see what it does this time. Okay, so that's taking a little bit longer. Let's have a look at how that fares. So hopefully if this has gone well, you'll see myself as a celebrity with this. Um, and with all that said, let's get started on installing this and setting it up locally. Wow, so yeah, the quality is definitely really quite poor. Um, like I said, there is a footnote on their website which says says frequently asked if you head to the frequently asked questions um, one of them is are there plans to implement a higher resolution face swapper we would love to but the author of insight face which i guess is the library that they are using has made the decision not to release their 256 and 512 models due to ethical considerations which is fair enough you can see in my videos clearly that something is odd is going on there um, and if they don't want to um, release it based on those uh, based on what they think people are going to be doing with it which is quite clear immediately if you give this kind of technology to somebody they are going to be swapping the face out on interviews made up videos like I've just done um, they're going to be putting themselves into movie trailers etc etc um, yeah, but it's crazy to think that we can just do this locally on our Macs. And especially my particular Mac. My Mac's not anything special. It's literally an M1 Pro with 16 gig of RAM. Um, if you're running, say, M1 Max um, with a larger amount of RAM, you're going to be getting these things much quicker than I have. So I've got them in. It's taking me a couple of minutes here. Okay, let's do one last one before we're done. Da, da, da. Um, let's do Jeff Bezos. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I made Jeff look worse. And myself, just a monstrosity that looks like it's coming through. Let's skip. Oh, like I'm making all these celebrities look so much older. Um, probably because I've got grey hair. But it's not helping them. So let's start. So we've got adjustments to be able to change the distance of the face and other settings. I'm not going to play with them too much because the overall quality is fairly poor and I don't think we're going to get anything more out of it. I would say this is probably quite a, a fun thing for if you're just doing GIFs on Twitter or whatever. Um, not much more. Okay, we've got Jeff now as well. Let's have a look at him. So hopefully if this has gone well, you'll see myself as a celebrity with this. Um, and with all that said, let's get started on installing this and setting it up locally. So Jeff, probably not as great. I mean, you can see there, there's like at the end, there's a bonus bit of ear coming off. So obviously these are not going to give you like true deep fake type likenesses because they've only been trained on a single 
uh, it's only using a single image as reference, so it can't really do a lot with that. But it is a very quick way of um, messing around with this stuff and playing with it on your just on an Apple Silicon Mac, which is great fun. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go and play with uh, Face Fusion. Uh, this has been fun and enlightening. Um, I hope you enjoy having a mess around with it. If you like the video, then give it a th thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more of this sort of thing. And I'll speak to you soon in a new video. All right, bye for now.